Hi there! Ever tried shopping online for that perfect t-shirt or a stylish pair of shoes only to find out they are out of stock when you make it to the store? Well, you are definitely not alone. My name is Rami Pinto, I'm an Industry Solutions Senior Specialist here at MongoDB. And it turns out companies of all sizes struggle with some problems related to inventory management. But here's the intriguing part. Why does this happen? And even more importantly, what can companies do to solve it? Let's dive right in and uncover the solution together. First, we need to understand what inventory management is. In simple terms, it's all about tracking inventory as it moves from manufacturers to warehouses and from these facilities to the point of sale. This is necessary to ensure that the right products are in the right place at the right time. In this video, we're going to focus on the last leg of the inventory journey, the tracking of inventory from the warehouse to the store. Inventory management is important because inventory can be a company's most important asset, and finding the right balance for your business is not an easy task. And the costs aren't exactly small. In 2022, unsold stock in the US reached $740 billion. I hope that now you agree that enhancing your inventory management capabilities is something worth considering. Even small improvements can have a significant impact in your bottom line. Let's look into the most common challenges and how to overcome them. The first challenge comes when trying to have a single view of inventory. Retailers that have been in the industry for many years started without an online channel, and then they adapted their processes and systems to it. In many cases, in order to adapt quickly, they accrued high amounts of technical debt. And nowadays, this hinders their ability to build a single view of inventory, and therefore to compete in the current retail landscape. The ability to offer customer-centric experiences, such as buy online, pick up in a store, heavily depends on having a reliable single-view inventory. The document model presents two major advantages. First, its flexible schema allows it to easily integrate different catalogs across channels and locations. And secondly, its intuitive design makes development easier, allowing retailers to launch new features and iterate faster. But the single view of inventory is just the beginning. Once you have your inventory in one place, you have to be able to manage your stock effectively. This means putting your products at the right time and place to sell them. Not only moving inventory between online and in-store, but even using distributed logistic networks to move a stock from one store to another. So we avoid dead stock lying at the store window. In order to make these decisions, you need access to the right information at the right time. And this is achieved through real-time analytics. You could manage your stock movement in an even smarter way by integrating AI and machine learning workflows. And MongoDB allows all of that. Of course, all these inventory operations rely on a workforce. The success or failure of these initiatives depends on the efficiency of your workforce. Imagine a scenario where the stock manager, instead of having to go to the stock room to check the inventory levels, manually receives an alert in real time when he needs to take some action. Or even more, we could automate certain workflows through triggers that respond to these same sale events. Think of all the things that your employees could do with that extra valuable time, like interacting with clients to upsell or cross-sell them, or exploring innovative stock decisions. As you can see, improving inventory management doesn't have to be complex. Focusing in these three areas of improvement you can have significant impact in terms of customer experience, stock management, and workforce efficiency. In this synergy of business and technology, MongoDB can be a powerful ally to unleash the full potential of inventory management. Now, let's dive into our application to see how we implemented these capabilities inside an inventory management system. First, we'll have a look at the data model. We just need three collections to build a simple inventory management system. Products, orders, and sales, which represent the stock, incoming, and outgoing transactions. With a tabular approach, achieving a comprehensive overview of your inventory could typically involve complex joins across multiple tables. However, with MongoDB's document model, this complexity is eliminated. Consider the products collection. It includes what would have otherwise demanded over 10 tables in a tabular setup. This transformational power stems from the document model's inherent flexibility. It not only empowers a more intuitive design, but also ensures that data access together is stored together. 
optimizing access. Another advantage of MongoDB Atlas is the possibility to set up analytic node directly in your replica set. Traditionally, transactional and analytical databases need to be separate to avoid impacting performance. With MongoDB Atlas, you don't need to move your data across different systems to make the most of it. MongoDB replica sets not only ensure high availability, but they can be used to isolate workloads for real-time analytics without affecting performance. This data model lays the perfect foundation for an event-driven architecture. MongoDB Atlas, our developer data platform, offers a wide variety of tools to build an architecture fit for your needs. Leverage change streams for real-time log stock alerts directly to the app frontend, employ database triggers for complex data interactions such as automatic orders in response to log stock, benefit from built-in full-text search, filtering, and analytic dashboards, and rest easy knowing that ACID-compliant transactions uphold system consistency. Ready to see theory in action? Let's take a look at our inventory management app. The target user of this application is a store manager of a retail shop. So let's put ourselves in the shoes of a store manager while we review the app. The first view that I, as a store manager, will see when I open the application is the products view, where I can scroll through and see all the products that I am selling. As we can see, in this case, it is mainly focused on t-shirts of different colors. Now that I have a general view of the products that I am selling, as a store manager, I might want to look for a specific item by its name or by its SKU. This is where MongoDB Atlas Search comes in. Atlas Search allows us to implement instant search, fuzzy search, and autocomplete suggestions in a simple search pipeline. Now that we have looked for a specific product, as a store manager, I might want to view and observe a specific category of my search. For example, I might want to see only a specific color of a product. This is made easy with MongoDB Atlas facets. As you can observe here, you can filter the products very easily. Now that I have taken a look at my products, I might want to take a look at real-time sales happening in the store in multiple channels. Seeing sales in real time will allow me to better understand my customers and respond to their demand on time. This flexibility will enable me, as a store manager, to relocate a stock efficiently and therefore maximize the sales opportunities or minimize the necessary inventory holding costs. For this, I will head on the Analytics tab. That allows me to see the sales happening in real time. Here, we can observe a MongoDB charts dashboard that is updated on every sale. The single view of inventory offered by MongoDB allows retailers to manage multiple selling channels together, creating better consistency in the data and among different stores. Traditional databases and legacy systems might struggle to provide a similar service of single view of inventory, often dividing the databases by channel, creating inconsistencies in the data, and leading to profit loss. After seeing the sales data in real time, let's head into the Sales Events tab, where I can further see all the sales in more detail. Please pay attention to the channel column that highlights that sales from both online and in-store channels are being written to the same collection. Again, highlighting the single view of inventory offered by MongoDB. As the store keeps selling t-shirts throughout the day, it's normal for some products to become depleted. To tackle this, as a store manager, I first need to identify these products with alerts and later replenish them. Let's head onto the real-time inventory tab and take a look at the alerts first. We can see that as the product goes below the threshold, we get an alert and the item gets a banner low stock in real time. MongoDB allows these features via change streams. Change streams allows applications to access real-time data changes without the complexity, meaning that as soon as the product stock goes below threshold, a store manager is alerted instantly. Now that I, as a store manager, have identified the products that are low in stock, let's identify how I am able to replenish them. This can be done in two ways, manual replenishment or auto replenishment. Let's take a look at the manual replenishment first. In order to manually replenish the product, I will head on to that specific product and click the Replenish Stock button. This will allow me to specify the size of the product and the amount that I want to replenish. After which, it will replenish the products in the given delivery time. Now, let's have a look at the auto replenishment. For this, I will turn on the auto replenishment toggle button. 
as another sale is made, I can see that the application can replenish the product to the target amount in real time. This is achieved by MongoDB triggers. As soon as a product goes below the threshold, the system is triggered to automatically replenish to the target amount. Using this feature, I, as a store manager, don't have to worry about replenishment each product manually and can rely on my application to do this for me. Finally, let's take a look at my manual and automatic orders in the Orders tab. We just discussed and demonstrated with the application how MongoDB enables retailers to have a unified view of inventory, effectively manage stock, and make the workforce more efficient. You can use this to build your own future-proof inventory management application. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, you can check all the code used for this demo in our GitHub repository. You can find additional resources in the description if you want to dive deeper into this topic. See you soon.